Hello my lady. So in today's video, I really want to discuss things you should absolutely not be posting on social media and why. The short answer is all of these things really show a lack of confidence. They show desperation. They show your need for validation and as silly as you might think some of these things are, it really, really gives off the wrong message. And these types of things stay with you forever. Your reputation is determined with literally a quick five second first impression of you. And if these things are not aligned, you're really facing years and years and years down the road with a not such a good reputation. And first I wanna mention, I'm not going to be talking about the obvious things such as don't be posting naked photos of yourself. That is very, very common sense, but I can guarantee that you have done at least one of these. And the reason for this and the reason for my entire channel is to empower women, to talk about money, woman and power, whether it's about business or looking more elegant or really preserving your reputation. And this video is not to bash on anything or to say that, you're an unworthy human for doing this, but I just really want to phrase these things in a way that you understand the point I'm trying to make. And I feel like the reason I have to even make this video is because all of the things I'm going to talk about are so normalized nowadays to the extent that most girls think it's okay to do these things. And they think of looking cool when they do certain things, but I guess the question I really want to ask you is what is the message you're trying to convey with your life? What type of life do you want to have? How do you want other people to view you? Because if you're doing any of these things, I promise you people who actually have brain cells and are around high circled people that are doing things that are worthwhile in life are going to look down on every single one of these things. You're going to find some of these interesting. Another thing I want to mention is you might come with the argument and say celebrities do this. And this is actually a very common reason why people tend to do these things because they see celebrities quote unquote do these things. But to be frankly honest with you, most of the celebrities nowadays are not even qualified as role models. They honestly do things. And I'm not talking about all people, not at all. There are a lot of icons that have good morals and good standing and are great, great role models for pretty much the whole world. But a lot of these celebrities that people look up to just don't really have much substance to them. They got what they're accomplished. That's good for them, but they just post such raunchy, inappropriate, degrading things. And it really shows the lack of confidence, the need for validation. And when you copy these things, that is exactly what you are showing. We live in a time where individuality is no longer preserved. People are just mimicking one person after the next. People are going to the same plastic surgeons. They're using the same filters, using the same face modifications and everyone is starting to look exactly the same because they think that that is the standard of beauty. There's no genuine thing to a human being anymore. It's all copycats from one another. It's all who can be more raunchy, who can be more provocative. But if we really think about this, what are we trying to emulate? Why are we doing this? Not we, why are people doing this? These things are so cringeworthy and maybe there might be some, negativity about this and people saying, you know, that's not true. We're free to do whatever we want. But honestly, these things are so cringe. And I really want you to try to think of it from a different perception of how is this really okay? And what am I going to say about myself, not just in this moment, but in the long term? whenever someone looks at my profile and sees that I'm posting these things, what impression are they going to get of me? And please do comment down below if you've ever seen others do these things and wonder to yourself, okay, this is a little bit awkward. This is really strange. and makes me feel uncomfortable because that's how I feel when I look at anyone doing any of these things I'm going to list. Okay. So let's get into it. First and foremost, I'm going to start out with the number one thing that is plastered all over Instagram. And I comment on this several times throughout the video. And even in this one, I've already made a slight um, foreshadowing to it. And that is posting very raunchy sex appeal, inappropriate photographs. You've seen these, they're everywhere everywhere. And before, you know, I get into it, how inappropriate it is for ABC reasons, whatever. I just want to say is what is the first thing you think of when you see something like that? Does that scream a person who has 
confidence and is kind of happy with themselves and is secure because to me it really doesn't a person who feels the need to post that type of content all it shows is empty mindedness and lack of confidence and the need for validation of i want most eyes on me i want people to look at me i want people to validate me i'm posting this to see how many likes and comments and creepy men in the comments i can get because who else is commenting on those things aside from a of a few of your friends or a few of the celebrities or influencers, whatever friends, no one else is really commenting that's a female. I'm a female. I don't particularly enjoy looking at borderline pornography on Instagram. I don't really see how that adds value to my life. And I don't see how I can add value into other people's life by posting these types of things. Now, before you go and say, no, 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 Karina, these are the type of photos that really show confidence in a woman, that she's able to show her body in her raw form and show confidence. But in reality, that's the furthest thing from the truth. <laughs> there was actually a survey that surveyed Instagram models and it found that most Instagram models who answer these specific group of questions have the highest narcissist levels by like a very high amount. That's probably not a good thing, okay? And do you honestly think if you're a single woman that wants to have a good boyfriend, a good fiance, a good husband, do you really think you are attracting that type of person into your life? No, you are not. What you're attracting is a person who sees this type of content and says, this girl is empty-minded, she has no concept to her, and she's going to be very easy to kind of manipulate because all she really thinks about is look, her vanity, her appearance. And again, it's not for all, but these types of girls do have lower confidence and it shows. Men see that, other women see that. It is so, so obvious when there's no substance to what you're putting out there except for your physical appearance. I'm going to leave that as it is right now, there's a lot more in depth that I could go about to this topic that it would deserve its own video, but I'm going to move on to the other factors because they're also quite very, very important. Now, this one is going to be almost going hand in hand with what I just mentioned. And again, it's really showing a desperation and that is posting weird poses of yourself on Instagram. Now, a sexy picture is a sexy picture, but if you couple that with a very odd and strange pose, it's honestly nailed on a chalkboard to another level. There is nothing about these poses that I'm about to mention that screams class, elegance, sophistication, put together, brain. Please let me know if you've known, you've seen these poses, right? The very awkward kneeling to the ground, kind of one leg, kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm gonna try to find a picture and put it up here without offending anybody. But you know when people like crouch down and kind of almost it's like they're squatting to go to the bathroom when they can't find a toilet or sticking their tongue out or putting their tongue in between their fingers or making a weird, weird face to the camera. Poses like this or the kind of backwards turn with the buttocks sticking out and the breasts all up in the front it's just too much it is too too much that again shows so much desperation the level of desperation that is in those pictures is honestly immeasurable please cut it out if you're even thinking about taking a picture like that and thinking that it looks sexy or attractive yeah maybe it looks sexy and attractive to some male that you probably don't want contacting you if i could tell you if it's really your goal to kind of attract these types of people if i'll tell you okay this is what you want why don't you go on a date with one of these people that's posting in your comments one out of ten go on a date with them i can guarantee you you would cringe and no a chance that you would go on a date with a man that's commenting under any single one of those pictures. Because again, when you're showing that type of desperation, in turn, you are attracting desperate men that all they care about is your looks. And it's so entertaining as well that most of these men that follow these Instagram models, quote unquote, don't even know who they are because they follow like 500 of them and you can post different girls and they won't even know who you are. They do not care about the content of the female. Nobody cares. They just want to see as much flesh as possible. And if that doesn't scream desperation, it's like, why would you even want to post that? That is not adding any value to your life. 
and you're not adding any value into other people's life except for creepy men that you probably would never talk to in a million years. So it's just so, so counterintuitive. Rolling in with this Instagram theme, the third thing that is should not be posted on Instagram is these cringe-worthy captions. It's almost like there's wood chips in a person's brain when they post these captions. Again, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to personally attack anyone. I'm trying to show it from a obvious perspective that most females don't see because I care and because I want to point it out. I feel like it's not pointed out, but these captions, it's like 90% of the time, either a, a butterfly emoji, a glitter emoji, a very unrelated song lyric that has absolutely nothing to do with the photo or the culprit of all the worst of them all this one just this is probably the most cringe honestly that i've ever even come across is the tell me what's your favorite color green or blue what's your favorite type of ice cream vanilla or chocolate if you were to go to a road trip would you go to kansas or nebraska why why are you asking questions like this <laughs> who answers questions like this is your audience 12 year olds are they 13 year olds that actually want to share their favorite colors with you because if they're 12 year olds you probably shouldn't be posting pictures where you just have to scribble out your nipple or anything else right that's probably not the audience so i'm not gonna get too heated all i'm trying to say is what kind of message are you sending? Are you sending a message of, I'm an intelligent human being that has a lot to contribute with my mind? Or do I literally have absolutely nothing to say? Literally nothing. If I were to say something to my audience and, oh, some people have audiences of millions or hundreds of thousands. If I could say I have the power to talk to hundreds of thousands of people and add some type of benefit, add some kind of, add one brain cell into their life, I'm going to ask them if they like the color green or blue better under a completely irrelevant photo such as a heavily filtered face tuned selfie. What message does that send? Because I know you see this all the time and it's such a cringe and do you want people to view you as you have nothing to say? Because honey, that is how it's coming off of. It is exactly how it's coming off of. Again, what is your goal in life? Are you trying to spread a positive message because you're not doing it that way? Are you trying to kind of spread a message to younger girls because that's also not working? Are you sharing your experiences or your journeys because asking those types of questions isn't contributing much? Or are you honestly just putting out a photo so people can look at your body, get a bunch of unnecessary cringeworthy comments from men that you would never even a million years even wanna to talk to, and then complain about them commenting on your pictures and being creepy. The logic here is so, so backwards, but if you really think about this, and this is how most people feel, honestly, this is how most people feel except for those, look at your audience insights on Instagram. If you have a business account, it will show you your population of men versus women. And I can guarantee you, if those are your photos, it's gonna be at least 70% men. And men that you would want absolutely nothing to do with. A good man is gonna look at that type of profile. It's not the man you wanna be with. It's not the man you want as your boyfriend. He's probably following 500 other girls exactly the same, commenting the exact same things. And how do you even see a future with a person like that's interested in those types of things? You are, you attract what you are in a sense, in, in 100% the sense, and that's exactly what's happening right there. So keep that in mind next time you compose a caption. Again, I'm not against quotes or song lyrics, but if your Instagram is just full of vain photos of yourself without any context, that's where it becomes borderline or 100% cringe. Okay, let's move on to the last reason. This one's also one of my favorites, and by favorites, I say this in the most sarcastic way possible. Please don't post these things. It, it, this one is really, really making you, again, look severely, severely unintelligent. There's a fine line between fun and games, and there's a fine line between you have absolutely nothing to contribute. And this is exactly the latter, okay? It's taking your phone, staring at it, recording a video and posting at it without any context. 
Worst of all, you slab a filter on that. Maybe you have butterflies flying around your head. Maybe you have a leaf sticking out from your ear. Maybe you have winged eyeliner and lips that are three times the size or a cat eye that's not real. Any one of those and just making really cringe-worthy faces at the camera, posting it. Again, the amount of desperation, lack of confidence, need for validation that that shows is out of this world. I can't even put it into concepts how disturbing that looks. And I'm just really trying to be upfront. I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm trying to bluntly point out how bad it looks and how you need to cut this out because it's, it's going to stay with you forever. No matter if you post these over and over and over, later you're going to look back that's what you're going to be known for. The girl that just posts really cringeworthy photos of herself on Instagram and the only people that like that is creepy men. Again, I've mentioned this. Aside from the weird kind of videos of girls looking at themselves and posting that, ooh, there's also the lip syncing videos. And again, it's not like a fun and game TikTok thing. It's borderline cringe as well, but Oh, no class, no elegance whatsoever. Again, it's the, the sense of vanity that these types of videos have. And you'll spot that from a mile away. It's the, the vanity of I'm looking at myself at a camera, I'm lip syncing to myself, and I'm posting it for everyone to see, and that's the only thing I have to post. Doesn't attract the right people, doesn't give a good impression on you. So really cut it, cut it out. And I touched on celebrities again. I feel like some of them are really held to this standard of everyone wants to copy whatever they're doing for God knows what reason when they have absolutely no credibility. Just post really, really strange things online. I mean, a lot of them do go through difficult times and have like addiction problems and they're probably not fully sober when they post half of the things they post so that's something to consider but they're also kind of a lot of i'm not saying all celebrities of course i think there's a lot of role models like i mentioned earlier but some do just go off the rails into a different direction and people kind of copy that or it just it doesn't it just doesn't look nice but again celebrities do have that extra buffer zone where for some reason it's acceptable for them to do certain things because they achieve something in life and people look up up to them but you as a normal human being or even if you have a hundred thousand followers whatever you may have it just doesn't it doesn't match that level it's still going to be looked down upon when you do these things and there's like i said before absolutely zero class there's zero elegance there's zero intelligence in any of these things that i mentioned there is so much more to you as a human being and i think we've severely lost this in this entire kind of situation that's going on. There is no personality, there is no sharing other interests. It's all about who can show off the most, who is the most vain, and long-term, even short-term, you might ask yourself if, if you're in any of these predicaments, why am I not meeting the right people into my life? Why am I not meeting a good man? Because a good man doesn't want a girl like that. A good man that's committed and is an actual good man that's going to be a good father, a good husband, he does not want a simple, unintelligent, vain female like that. It is very rare, almost impossible, that you're going to come across a good man if you do any of those things, okay? You're gonna, and then girls ask, like, why am I getting played by men? Why am I getting attention from the wrong people? And it's like, take a look at the message you're sending out. And it's blunt and it's honest and it might even be hurtful, but it's the honest, hard truth. And that's what my channel is about. So please let me know your comments in the thoughts. No, <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, do hit the thumbs up button. If you completely disagree with me and think I am dragging people through the dirt, please leave me a thumbs down button. Do it. Leave me a thumbs down. And... If you do enjoy this video, if you want more topics, then do subscribe on my channel because trust me, you will hear a lot more of these topics from me and in the past videos that I posted. Anyways, hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next video.